Hello everyone, it's Spawn Point and it is finally here. Today is the day we are unboxing and taking a first look at the new Spider-Man 2 Collector's Edition on PS5. We'll see what we get inside the box including the game content and those 19 inches of Venom, as well as some other Spider-Man 2 items I've picked up for launch. Now I just want to say a massive thank you to PlayStation for giving me early access to the game today, and at the end of this video I will show you some gameplay. But before we jump in, who was hyped to play it this weekend? And do you think this could be game of the year? Okay, so here's the huge red box that everything comes in, and this already looks awesome. We've got the Marvel Spider-Man 2 logo on the top, and around the front, the iconic image of both Peter Parker and Mars Morales. And as this is a PlayStation 5 exclusive game, we've got the PS5 logo in the top corner as well. Now, it's hard to put into perspective just how big this box is. So here it is next to the Spider-Man 2 PS5 box. This is massive. Then around the back, we have some more details about what's included inside the box. Right, let's get this opened up and see what we get. Okay, so inside the outer sleeve, there is another box, a huge black box with the white Spider-Man logo in the middle. And if we open this up, we have the still book. Now, I'm a sucker for collecting still books, and this looks nice. We've got the image on the front with Venom fighting both Peter and Miles. We've seen this image quite a lot already online, and it's also the same image that spans the entire back of the limited edition PS5 console box. As for the back of the steelbook, well this hasn't been shown anywhere online, so I had no idea what this was going to look like until today. And if we open this up, we can see what the design is they've gone for inside. It's just weird that we've got a steelbook with no disc to put inside. But anyway, this will now join my other steelbooks including the original Spider-Man one that I got when the first game launched back in 2018. Okay, so the moment that we've all been waiting for, who's ready for those 19 inches of Venom? Well, here it is. And damn, this looks massive. Oh, okay, so actually it appears to be in two parts. It looks like Peter isn't actually attached to Venom, so we need to do that first. But just picking this up now, this feels a lot more sturdy than I was expecting. It's not heavy, but it feels really well made. But let's insert Spider-Man into Venom. So this is Peter's web, which is also part of the structure to keep him in place. And here we have it, the famous 19 inches, and this thing looks massive. Oh man, this whole video is gonna be filled with innuendos. But seriously, this is huge. I'm gonna to have to put this next to my PS5 just to show you how big it really is. It's literally bigger than the PlayStation 5. So if you are grabbing one of these for yourself, I hope you've made room for it. And if we take a closer look, the details on this are incredible. So we've got Venom, which looks like an absolute beast, all in black with the white logo on his body. You can even see how detailed his hands, legs, and teeth are. This definitely feels like a lot of thought has gone into making and designing it. And look at his tongue, this looks like it will do some serious damage. Then in his right hand, he's grasping onto Mars Morales. It looks like a pretty tight grip, so I don't think he's going anywhere. I'm also amazed at how detailed he is. Obviously, he's wearing a black and red suit with the red Spider-Man logo on his chest. And as he's fighting, it looks like he's also brewing up an electric punch ready for Venom. Then on the other side, we have Peter Parker in his classic red and blue suit. And again, looking really closely at just how detailed his suit and body is. It almost looks like this has actually been hand-painted. So while Mars is supported by Venom's hand, Peter is held in place with his web, which is shooting out of his right hand. And then if we look at the bottom of the statue, you can see that Venom and the symbiote have become one, as he's merging into the base of the statue. I love how this whole statue is a snapshot of a battle between them all. It's an awesome idea, as opposed to most statues which are kind of static or posed, whereas this feels like a scene from the game. Now, as this is so big, this will likely be living somewhere over here on my shelves, most likely here in the middle alongside the God of War Ragnarok and the Last of Us Part 2 items. Now, this Ellie statue isn't small, so you can see just how big this Spider-Man 2 statue really is. As for the game, well this edition doesn't come with a physical disc unfortunately, but it does come with a voucher code that you can redeem on the store. So at the time of filming this video, the code doesn't work and will unlock at midnight tonight, so that's ready for launch day tomorrow. Now the game will be 86 gigabytes in size, so you want to make sure you've got enough space available before you start the download, as well as giving yourself enough time to download it. Now as this is the collector's edition, it does count as a pre-order, so it comes with the pre-order bonus items as well. So we get this suit with the three color variants, the shadow spider suit also with three color variants, the web grabber gadget and three skill points. So that's a nice start to the game. And then as part of the digital deluxe edition, we also get the following items included. So there are 10 unique suits, that's five for Peter and five for Miles, plus additional photo mode items and two more skill points. So in total, including the pre-order bonus, we now get five skill points and 12 suits, or 16 if you include the color variants. And to complete the entire Spider-Man 2 lineup, we also have the limited edition PS5 console, the covers, and the controller. 
So I did actually do an unboxing of this last month when it first launched, but here are all of the new items that you could have picked up for the new game. So the covers have this red and black theme where it blends into each other on one side, whereas on the other side it's just black, but both sides do have a white Spider-Man logo in the middle. Then there's the controller, and this is probably my favourite one so far. Again, it has the black and red theme along with the Spider-Man logo on the touchpad. I know most of these sold out quite quickly, but I know over the last couple of weeks, websites have been bringing both the controller and console back into stock, so it's worth keeping an eye out if you want the full collection. And even though this is about the PS5 edition, I had to quickly show you these items. So this is the limited edition PS4 that launched back in 2018, and it is one of my favourite PS4 consoles. This one just lives on my shelf in my storage room, but now feels like the perfect time to show it. It has this huge Spider-Man logo on the side and a matching red controller. Now I'm not sure which one I prefer more, the PS4 or the PS5 version. Which one do you think looks better? Okay, then I've got the still book here for this Spider-Man game when it released on the PlayStation 4. I think this was an Amazon exclusive back in 2018. And here's something completely different to the rest of the collection, and that's these pop figures for both Peter and Miles. And these are those bobbly heads, so they kind of wickle as you move them around. And as for the game, it is absolutely awesome. I have to say a massive thank you to PlayStation for giving me early access today. I have only played for the last hour or so, but I'm already hooked. It's smooth, vibrant, and the gameplay is just awesome. I'm not going to give anything away about the story, mainly because I'm not far enough in to tell you, but this is a must play. I actually had to rush to make this video today just so I can jump back on it later, but here's a couple of minutes of gameplay to whet your appetite. And if you didn't know already, I actually have a gameplay channel as well. And it's where I often upload gameplay videos for all of the games that I'm currently playing. Okay, and while this is playing in the background, drop a Spider-Man 2 in the comments and I'll give you a thumbs up for staying right till the end. And if you liked this video, check out my limited edition PS5 unboxing video next. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you're able to enjoy playing the game over the weekend as well. Now please like, sub and follow me everywhere. Until next time. Downtown fast. Swing it through Brooklyn. Jameson have you on the drought for the bugle? Still can't believe old Triple J is your new boss. <laughs> really loving the new regime. You'll whip him into shape in no time. So, what's up with Marco? It's been years since our last showdown. According to witnesses, he was running down Broadway yelling nonsense. They say he seemed angry and, and paranoid, delusional. He just exploded. Man! Hopefully we can calm them down. I've seen people lose control like this. Be careful. Good thing there are two Spider-Men now. The web wings? They're flying. But we're not out of this yet. Marco's at Pier 4 Beach. What happens if he gets all that sand? Pinky just did. <laughs>